yo, yo, what's the deal, y'all? Welcome back to The Sauce. It's your boy, DJ Marquise. You are tuned into the ice, the sauce, right here on Camo JHD2. You already know what it is. How y'all feeling out there? November 6, 2019. It's about 9.19 on the dot. And I got a special guest in the building. I'm talking about my man's been turning up the city for the past couple months. Something serious, y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all been seeing him down the timeline. He, I'm talking about he started a challenge this summer that everybody and their mama was started to do. I don't even know how they found the beat and they started doing, doing the challenge. Got your man John Ray in the building. What's the deal? Yo, 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 yo. It's John Ray, man. What's going on? Man, what's the deal, man? Northside. Another Northside legend. If you don't know, if you don't know who John Ray is, he's been in the local game for a while, holding down for the soda, and I'm glad he had to come on here. Before we get into anything, how did you come to your name? How did, how did your name come about? John Ray. You know, a lot of people... It's kind of hard to pick their rap name. How did you say, yeah, this is my rap name? It came about at first as a joke. Like my man's way before I started rapping. Oh, right. He just put my name backwards. So he like, my name, Ray John. Yeah. So he like, John Ray. And then we just went with that, and I was John Ray. And then I started rapping after that, so then it was cool. Oh. Y'all hear that? See, a lot a lot of people don't know. That's the, that's the gems dropping on the show. That is what's... Now, when did you actually start rapping? Probably like 12th grade. Senior year? Senior year. Okay, did you start out a group or you started out solo? I was thinking like school ain't gonna work for me. I gotta, Yeah. this is what I wanna do. Yeah, so you already had it made up in your mind? Yeah. Okay, well any any influences you done had? Lil Wayne was my favorite. You know? Uh-huh. So I, I wanted to be like Wayne. I wanted to get on Young Money. I was trying to do what I had to do to be Young Money, you know? So you more of a, I would say, a bars type person. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't really like the new wave like that, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's cool. But I don't, I don't really like it like that. I like to hear, I like to hear your words. Man, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people more is involved in the swag movement. You know what I'm saying? Right, How the right, beat right. is. But I always tell people a lot of the older cats more focused on the lyrics. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like to, like talent. You gotta you gotta be talented to do it. And I feel like now you don't even really gotta be talented. You just gotta know how to ride the beat. Yeah, <laughs> you hear that? And this is the third person that it came on the show that has said that. I hope y'all paying attention. This is a desire. This, this is how I seen it in my eyes. I seen he was like, all right, I got this beat in the back of a car. He was like, all right, and he spit this crazy verse to this beat. I'm talking about crazy verse. And then out of nowhere, I just see artists in the city do it, do it, do do the challenge to the beat. And he like, yep, this is a John Ray challenge. I'm like, yo, this man just made his own challenge and had, man, that, now that to me was big, 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 big. And it's crazy because I didn't even really mean it to be a challenge. Uh -huh. I, was just, I was just throwing my mans in the back seat, the yeah. song I just wrote. Yeah. So he like, no, oh, that's crazy. That's cold. He was asleep. It was five in the morning. I'm sitting in the back seat rapping. He was asleep. He woke up out of his sleep. Like, man, that was cold. Yeah. You know, whoop, whoop. so somebody called me, like, let me get on it. And he was like, no, nah, matter of fact, uh it's Prince Trey. He mm -hmm. called me like, let me get on it. And he was like, no, nah, matter of fact, I'm finna start a challenge. So he started the challenge. Now it started just going up. Okay. So everybody it was shout out John Ray, you know. Whoop, so cold. It was bigger than what Di it was. Didn't even know that, man. See, another gem that y'all wouldn't even know. How the challenge got started. I always want to know how did who started the challenge and it just kept going and going. So, shout out to your man. What's his name? Prince Trey. He, Prince Trey. He music. He's from Minneapolis. Yep. Pr shout out Prince Trey. Holla at me. We gonna get you up on here too. You already know the deal. And he just had uh, John Ray just had an all black event at the Rouge. Yeah, it already happened, so. Yeah, okay. yeah, at the Rouge, and it was jam-packed. Speak on that a little bit. Elaborate a little bit more on that. Yeah, basically, you know, I I, I, t I talked to Prof, right? Yeah. And he was like, I was trying to get him to come do a show with me. And he was like, no, nah, well, I really don't do that. He gave me some advice, like, what you should do is just rent out your own venue. Yeah. And then that way you get paid. Because then nobody want to pay me to do no show. They didn't think I could pack it out. Uh -huh. So I made it a point. That I had to pack it out, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, don't nobody want to pay me? Watch this. I'm going to show y'all. Uh-huh. You know, now now they book, now they trying to book. Yeah, so you took matters to your own hands and said, you know what? I'm just going to do this myself. Yeah. 
Y'all hear that? He didn't wait on nobody. It was definitely packed. I'm talking about control. super packed. I seen I seen Snapchat videos and it was crazy. Man, man, shout out to John, ja, shout out to the ja Ray for that. And he has some upcoming, upcoming events and dilemmas. I think, yeah, I think you want to elaborate on that one. Yeah, so I'm on the Boosie Fly, and then you know the Sneaker Gala. They both on the same day. Ooh. But I I, I mess with both of the promoters. You know they're my guys. So what I'm trying to do is perform at both. I'm trying to figure out a way where I can go to both. But the sneaker gala, you know, on the 29th, and the, and the Boosie is on the 29th. You hear that? So y'all, y- if you want to see my man's on the 29th, and if you go on the Boosie, you're going to see him. You go to the sneaker gala, you're going to see him. Either way, you're going to see my man's that night. Now, do you have, besides Lil Wayne growing up, growing up, what is your musical influences? Uh, I, don't, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't, Lil Wayne, that was that growing, was like, like growing uh, up. I liked Pop, Pop, Biggie. I really like Biggie better than Pop. Man, <laughs> hey, uh, we always have that. Uh, and me and my guys, debate. yeah, me and my guys always have that debate. And actually, I believe you, you, you're very right on that because, as far as nowadays and when it comes to bars and punchlines. Yeah. Biggie had that. He yeah, had the had flow it. of today. And he had swag for a big dude, you know what I mean? Like yeah. It was, yeah, had Pac it. Moore had the energy there. Yeah. The more go hard energy, but yeah. That 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 yeah, you are right about that. But now, them too. Now in the city, any uh, artists you collaborating with? Uh I got Cash and Nova. I got something coming with Cash and Nova. Ooh. I got something coming with Mac Irv. Okay. And then uh you know me and DB always work. Yeah, and then that's that's about that's about I, it. I gotta get I gotta get DB up here. That's one person I haven't reached out to. I gotta get him up yeah, here. But I know he he's he's always in and out of state. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta catch him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, as far as do you have any advice for the local artists? Local artists that that's looking at you starting their own thing. Drop. That's all. They just keep dropping. Just keep dropping music. As soon as you, as soon as you stop. You gonna get dry. It's gonna get. It's gonna. It only take a week for you to get dry. You could drop something real hot, and then a week later you, you you dying down. You gotta keep dropping. Drop, 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 Y'all drop. Hear drop. That? Do keep. challenges. Do 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 everything you can do to keep your buzz up. I know you hear that, y'all, for real. Any, I would say, is there any milestones in your local career? You was like, I did that. Like goals this year. What was your goals this year? To pack out a show. And you I for did sure that. did that. I did that. Okay. And it was even better because I did it by myself. You know? Yeah. So that and then uh, I ain't really had no, it was just drop. I was trying to just drop. And I just want. I just want. I just want the city to, to love John Ray. You yeah. Know what I mean, that's all. That's all. And, and I'm it's getting there. You know, all the hate. It's so much hate in the city. Yeah. And. Trying to bring it together. They starting to they starting to not hate me no more. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I'm trying to get it to where you know, everybody loves y'all. Right? You, you know, you come to the city, you gotta hear my name. You gotta know me, whoever you is. Y'all hear that? Any any what what's your expected goals? Any goals for 2020? Now that you packed out a show, what would be next? A tour. I want to do a tour, like a college tour. But I want to fund it. You know what I mean? And get my money off the back end, catch a bag off a tour. College tour now, like just the surrounding cities, like Mankato, St. Cloud, that be you know, lit. North Dakota, like a tour like that. And they love local artists. Yeah. They love local artists up north. Yeah, I'm trying to get to these these other crowds, you know. Yeah, and you definitely uh, a lot of colleges they pack out. Uh, they actually book local artists for spring breaks and stuff like that. So, hey. It's it, if you if you can pack out if you can pack out the rules like you did, man, that's no that's no problem. Yeah, cause I guarantee I'm I'm probably gonna drop like two three more videos for the year over. Speaking of videos, what would be your next video you will be dropping? The perk. Oh, the perk D. <laughs> the perk D. Hey, the challenge song. I'm talking about the song that had the city talking this summer. Yeah, that's that's the next one. We were just talking about it. When can we be expecting that? 
as soon as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. I want to get it out now. I want to get it out. I just called her earlier. I'm like, so what, what we gonna do? She was like, let's do it. She been ready. I've been the one slacking. Okay. Any projects coming up? Uh, I'm gonna I'm be working on the tape, but I don't. I ain't. I ain't gonna. Just singles for right now. I'm just single in it. Just right singles. Now. I just want y'all to y'all to love me before yep. I waste my time on another tape. I feel you. You know, I got to get all the buzz up, so I'm just dropping. I feel you. That's all that's to my madness. Any shout outs in the city you want to do? Yeah, shout out. Shout out Malik. He doing the sneaker gala. Okay. Shout out Pug and uh, Carlos and, and, all, and all of them. They doing the boosie. Shout out JoJo. That, that, he working the camera for me at all times. He working it right now. Shout out JoJo in the building. Shout out my mom. You know what I mean? Shout out Mom Dukes for sure. Shout out my mom. And then, you know, RIP my pop. RIP for sure. For sure. Now, how did how did your mom feel about all this attention you get in the city and she see your flyers? I'm pretty sure because I I went to the liquor store and I seen the flyer up there. I'm yeah. like, man, ain't that it? Like, how do you feel when you go? You know, when I know you see your, like your family, like, man, I didn't see. My mom you. just my mom live in Detroit. Okay. So she just came up here for the show. Oh, what did she? What did she? Was, what did she, what did she say? Too. So I had her in front. And I had the whole crowd say happy birthday to my mom. Hey. You know? But she was like, after this, she was like, you're really a superstar. I always thought this was fail. I was trying to get you away from this, but it's working. Yeah, how did that feel, man? What, is, wasn't that a good feeling? She always was trying to get me, stop doing music, go to school. You know what I mean? Like, stop doing music, go to school. For her to say, keep, okay, we, we, we there, we almost there, keep going, you know? Yeah. For her to say that, it's love. I, I, that made me proud, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Shout out, Mom Dukes. What's next in these next couple months before 2019 ends? What's next for John Ray? Well, you know, the Perk D, the video, I'm doing a video to that. And I forgot, uh, I got a, a song with E-Day 600. Yeah. Called Shake Some. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge to that. So I need all, all the women to cut, you know, you know. To shake some, you already know. Shake some challenge. So I need y'all to twerk, twerk for me, you know what I mean? Send me the videos, all that for that. And then, so that's that's the that's the next two that I'm, and, and I'm expecting them to do numbers. Okay. So just the small steps until 2020 hit, then it's go time. Yeah, ba yeah, go time. <laughs> you already know In 2020, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw another show. Hey. So I'm gonna throw another show. Y'all hear that? So one. be prepared for this one. No. I probably do all white. I did all black. I probably do all white. Hey. Oh, speaking of at the show, <laughs> how did the night go? It went cool. It was a cool night. It was a cool night, but it was my birthday, so you know, I was kind of irritated that I had to promote and rap at the same time. You had to do everything on your birthday. Yeah, so everybody was coming to me for bottle services and, and, and all that. You had to do business on your birthday. Yeah, I had to do business, so I couldn't even drink the whole night. You know, I'd be irritated. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be trying to... So know. this time, this time around, it's going, hey, you ain't... I'm having somebody else do, do all, all the that, business. And I'm lit. So I'm somewhere lit. Hey, you hear that, man. Thank you, John Ray, for coming in. We definitely going to have you back on here in the next real soon he's probably as soon as that drop come back here and see us you already yeah. know the deal we you already know the deal about the uh local music we about to get that popping real soon you at top of the list because obviously you the one making the most mute the most music and most noise in the city got to so you already know camo j got your back man don't go nowhere y'all before you go anywhere plug all your social media i'm talking about everything you got i got facebook John Ray, just type in John Ray. You're going to see me on there. I'm active on there all day. I got Instagram at campaign underscore John Ray. And then I got, uh, what I got that? What else? Twitter, John Ray. I, I ain't really too in tune with Twitter, but you'll see me on Twitter. I got everything. Just type in John Ray. YouTube, John Ray. You see my channel. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Type in John Ray. I got a SoundCloud. I got everything. Y'all already know, man. Y'all better get in tune with these North Side legends, cause 2020, he about to heat. He's already been heating up this year, something serious. So you already know next year it's about to go down. So y'all better stay in tune, and uh, I'm be. I'm trying to go to that all white party, cause I missed the last one, but I ain't trying to miss the next one. So yeah. you gonna see me up in there for sure. Hopefully, um, see if I can do press release. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah, press release. That sound real good. Thank you for coming in, man. We definitely gonna, we me, definitely man. gonna, definitely gonna have you back up in here. 
John Ray in the building, y'all. Make sure y'all go check him out. Make sure y'all go look him up. And be looking out for that Perk D video coming now. It's your boy DJ Marquise. This is The Sauce. Keep it locked right here. Came on JHD to the ice. 89.9. Let's get it.